this challenge. Mothership's over there. I can see the lights. Get it done. Appreciate you. And don't forget to subscribe to Independent Show. Also, yeah. Thank you. Uh, oh my god. I'm out of here. My name is David, this is Kira, and welcome to Shelf Turds. And tonight we don't know what we're drinking because we're drinking whatever is in this beautiful box sent to us from Independent Joe. Now Kira, just in case the good people at home don't know about Independent Joe, tell us about Independent Joe. He is an independent contractor. Sometimes if you go out to a really nice restaurant mm -hmm. and you leave with your significant other, he might stop and ask you if he can draw a caricature of you because he's independent contracting. You're saying that contracting is short for caricature drawing. Caricature drawings and whatever else he wants to contract. He's an independent contractor. He's normally like asking, hey, do you, do you want me to fix your tire? I can do that. I don't need a permit. Do you want me to, I'll sell these oranges in the corner. What do you think the word contractor means? Well, he has his own permits. He doesn't have to, he contracts them up. This is a, me saying I can work here. So when the police come over and say, hey, yo, Joe, he's like, I got a contract now. I'm called independent Joe. That's America for you. Just sign a paper and be like, yes, these hot dogs I'm selling, I can, I can sell them and they're, Really hot dogs. Contracted. So, yeah, if he sees a fire and he's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go get that baby out of the fire. But first he writes he up the contract. He writes up the contract first, yes. And he says, look at firemen. Contracted. So now that we know more about independent. Excuse me, I guess. Let's get into this tiny, cute little box sent to us. Don't call a box tiny. Ooh. Ooh. It's got casket lining. <laughs> wow, that's what everybody wants in a flight from a stranger. The little box of death. Some instructions and then a whole lot of bottles. David and Kira. I know you don't know me, but I've been taken by aliens to an undisclosed location. Area 51, I already know where he's at. He just said it's undisclosed. I, I disclosed it. Prior to these bad, bad aliens taking me, I had <laughs> typed this up, created a box with bourbon slash whiskey samples, and had the box hand delivered to YouTube. Now, unfortunately, these bad aliens intercepted this email and told me to use an alien to English translator. They said they want you to oh. to guess the following questions or oh. I may suffer the penalty of a pink belly. Oh. By the way, David, they now have an interest in probing you next. So oh. get as many as you can get oh. correct or Michigan is oh. their next stop. We need to think about these. So you must um, say from what family these are from. So are these all bourbons, all rye, all the same distillery, the same brand? The second thing that we have to think about, what proof are these? So here's a hint, none of them are below 80 or above 150. Thank you for that. 150, really? Helpful. What do you Very think helpful. I am, idiot? And then we need to think about, are these blended straight bourbons or rye? So if we get a number of these right, do we actually save Joe? Yes. He is an alien because he used an underscore. The aliens use underscores? Yeah, we don't use those. What uh, are we, idiots? I use underscore when I say, hey, message me from outer space. Write my Gmail address. My first email address? Yeah. It was too freaking good for you at hotmail.com. The number two freaking underscore good, the number four, and then the letter U. Getting into Number A. This really smells like grassy old bubblegum. So like you already chewed up the bubblegum, threw it down, and then picked it back up and it's got grass on it. Not a rye. You think that's Ooh, a rye? Yeah, that's a sweet rye. A very sweet weeded rye. A weeded rye? I don't know if that's a thing, 
But that's what it freaking tastes like to me. Good. This does feel aged. I thought it was a bourbon, not a rye. It's dusty. Not terribly impressed with it off of the jump. Dry mouthfeel, uh, pepper, a little bit of sweetness, but not overpowering, not super sweet. Could be a rye, I don't, I don't think it is. No, do you think it's like a finished bourbon then? Because it does taste like a, like it's almost been finished in a, a wine barrel that's super duper sweet. So not like a dry red wine barrel, but almost like a strawberry wine barrel. Moving on <laughs> to number B. This again, maybe this is a weeded bourbon and not a rye. Mmm, but I am kind of also getting a weird grassy note, but not totally rye. But it does smell very weeded, very sweet. Ooh, that's good. Ooh. I'm starting to get on this weeded train. That is chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. That's really, really good. I'm getting a lot more mint. Maybe... Maybe a, a dark chocolate, okay, okay. Don't go with my guesses. Everybody knows that I don't know what I'm doing. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. And and Get what? naked and independent contract each other. <laughs> when they said Rome was burning, they actually meant their crotches. <laughs> Got a ring on. That's what you get for spreading your seed. <sighs> Disgusting. Moving on to number C. Wouldn't be a blind without it. Hoof, hoof, hoof. This is a proofy bugger, potentially a girthquake. Yeah, I think this is way proofy. I'm gonna already guess 125. Is that too high? I've never seen you guess proof of the nose before. Do I'm, I'm impressed. When in Rome, do all the Romans. Do like the Romans do. Independent contract, the aqueduct. Mm -mm. On the nose, it's sort of like a, just a bourbon nose. Like a really standard, almost reminds me of like a Almost reminds me of like a 1792 foolproof nose. It's just such a sweet. I, th you're, I think we're right. I think it's a, this is weeded bourbon so far. Okay, let's go in for C. A lot of vanilla and honey. That's kind of like it. Um, it drinks smoother than, than the nose lets on. Mm-hmm. Can't say that this is 125 proof. No way. No way. No way, Hosey. Moving on to number D. Let's see, quick. PBR cleanse. So far, I think that oh! Joe's gonna be stuck with the aliens for a long time. I don't think we're doing <laughs> real well. Into the day. I'm getting more oh. ethanol, ethanol on the nose. Yeah. It's kind of a warm nose. So I'm not good with flowers. Sure, you, right? you, you kill them all the time. I kill them all. When you get them for me, they're in the vase, and I yeah. give them the flower food, they still end up dying, like the next day. That water. That's what this smells like. That water independent contracted to kill the flowers. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm finally getting it. That's nice. Ooh. That's very nice, wow. Ooh, that's hot. Mm-mm, I like that a lot. Did you chew it like I did? Woo -hoo! Yeah, it's just a sweet chocolate to me. I love Cinnamon, it. Cinnamon, chocolate, mm. almost like a hot chocolate where that has got too many cinnamon sticks in it. Or, Hot chocolate that has too much fireball in it. Yes, I like that. Yeah. I like it. I'm getting a lot of cinnamon. I love that. Okay, so, so far, we haven't found the common trait, although we think they might all be weeded. I think they're weeded, yes. Or potentially they could be the same distillery that uses a weeded mash bill. Moving on to number E. Oh, this one smells again really, really sweet. Looks yeah. light. It still smells sweet, and I'm getting a little bit of banana. Banana raisin, almost bready, but not a bread. It's missing that bread. But it's really oaky on the mouth. Very uh, oaky on the mouth. I also think that it's aged. I'm going to say this, though. Uh, cotton candy. It's got cotton candy going on. That's what that is. Cotton candy and pepper. And oak. Pepper. For sure. Mm -hmm. Are these blended? I have no idea. That is one of the questions to get Joe out of alien prison jail. Because straight bourbons, right? Would we get this? I don't know what E is, but that might be my favorite. Mm, I'm not a big fan. 
Um, you're saying so, like, even with all the crazy scents and tastes and sweetnesses, they're not blended. I'm not saying. I, I have no idea. E is something else. I'm guessing E at 120 proof. It is cotton candy. It is pepper. E is my jam. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can have my E. E is my... I'll take your B. Oh, do we need to come to one consensus answer? Because are the aliens going to accept two answers? They're going to have to accept the our, the better of our answers. Okay, that's fair. It's it's a best ball. Best ball situation. Do you have a common trait? What family they're from? I really think they're all weeded bourbons. I'm going to say, as much as I want to go weeded with you, the last pour or two here, E and D, have changed my mind. Okay. But again, we're playing best ball. You go with weeded. I'm going to say they're all MGP. I so. think these are blended. I think they're blended. So question number one is what family did these come from? You said weeded. Mm -hmm. I said MGP. Turns out the family is actually a brand, which was part of the question. Same family or same brand. The brand is Barrel. Fun. We got that and wrong. And you know what? They have like the most unique name. Which is crazy because bourbons come from barrels. Oh my gosh, you are so smart, Barrel. <laughs> uh, just to get it out of the way, question four is, are these blended or straight bourbons or rise? These are all blended bourbons. And I got that right. So Joe is partially out of jail, but not all the way out of jail. Going back to question number two, which is one we can really sink our teeth into. It's proof by pour. We're playing best ball. Let's go, Kira. Okay. What did you have for proof on number A? Number A, I thought this was 98 proof. I had 110 proof. This is Barrel Armida. Uh, it is 113.9 proof. So I was oh. 3.9 <laughs> proof off. I think that's close to getting Joe out of jail. Oh, I think so too. I think that's pretty close. Number B, Kira, what did you have for proof for number B? 101. I had 110 yet again. This is actually Barrel Bourbon Private Release, and it is 115.48. I was oh. off by pot 5.4 there. Mm. Not good enough? I was going to say like a three is You're away. You're holding shelters to a very True. high standard. Okay, five. We'll do five points away. So then we win. We win. We win. We're going to play by we win rules. <laughs> Uh, C, what was your proof on C, Kira? C, 115. Uh, I had 100. This is Barrel Craft Spirits uh, Bourbon. It is 104.9. Oh you got it again. I uh, Was it within 4.9? Mm -hmm. D, what do you have for proof on D? D, I said it was 120. I said D was 115. This is Barrel Dovetail, 124.16. I'm not close enough. I'm close, though. So hey, we get it. Best ball. E. Kira, what'd you have for proof? 110. I had proof at 120 on E. Proof on barrel seagrass is 118.4. You're close. Knocking down four of the five proofs, basically within five proof points. As Kira would say, Matt Man has come at me, bro. We got, I think we got proof right. I think we were within basically five proof points playing best ball on all five. I carried the team when I said that. I think these are blended, but we did not get the family correct. What does that mean? Is Joe still in jail? Joe is still kind of in jail. Okay, so Kira, I think I think Joe's still in jail. Sorry that you're still an alien in jail, bro. <laughs> Kira, what did you have ranked as your number five? Number E. Okay, my number five was actually number A. My number four was number A, which was the Armida. Okay. Armada. I think you're pronouncing it wrong. I pronounce everything wrong. My number four was number D. Number D is Barrel Dovetail Whiskey. Kira, what was your number three? It was number D, which was Dovetail. Uh, my number three was number C, which was Barrel Craft Spirits Bourbon Cask Strength. Kira, what was your number two? It was that cast strength. My number two is number B, Barrel Bourbon Private Release. Kira, what was your favorite out of this entire flight? The Private Selection. Uh, it was her number one. It was actually my number two. And Kira, my number one, shockingly enough, was Barrel Seagrass Rye Whiskey finished in Martinique Rum, Madeira, and Apricot Brandy Barrels, 118 proof. I thought it was a tasty treat. Like Kira, close the show! Uh-oh. Well, Independent Joe. That's your you, real name. You are in trouble. You're still with the aliens. Would you rather live with an alien? No. Why? Except 
When you're mean, then yes! <laughs> I like seagrass. Guess what? I don't like bourbon anymore. <gasps> Who said that? Whoa, you said that. Who said that? Who did it? Jump on the rainbow, and then we get to sing a song, and then we get to reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Reading rainbow. Lavar Burton. And he's on Star Trek. You've got to do this contest. you you got to get this drink challenge correct. <laughs> Help me. Cause, uh, oh, my God. These dang aliens, they came and attacked me. <laughs> uh, 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 whoa. Uh, and they're pretty strong, these green things. I don't know what they want with us. Complete the challenge. Get these aliens. Because guess what? David, they're coming after you next. If you don't get this challenge, Kira don't get them all right, but she gave it. Please. It's the only way we'll both survive. We'll all survive. David, now please. Oh my god. I think they're a spaceship. It's, they're coming. Uh, complete the challenge. My name is David. And my shirt's too big, and his shirt's too small. It's too small? It looks chunky in it? <laughs> no, your face just makes me look chunky. <laughs> I'm just joking. David, I've gained 35 pounds in the last year. The David diet starts tomorrow. No thanks. You well, like what am I? Gonna freaking have war with a giant later? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna eat whatever I want. Did you just say have war with a giant later? Yes. What can you explain that? What does have war <laughs> with a giant later mean? Isn't that the David the David diet? He decided he's like, I'm just gonna eat vegetables and then kill this giant. You think that somehow David and Goliath links back to David having a weight problem. David of the Bible with the slingshot and the stones. Yeah, the, the reason, Daniel diet. Oh, they're two different guys. The reason why David couldn't get a proper sword or bow and arrow was because he was a chubster. <laughs> He's like, I just can't. I'll just take this little thingamajiggy. They're handing out swords and bows and arrows, and here comes Tubby David. They're like, whoa, <laughs> not for you. Here's a slingshot. They're like, are you sure you can beat this giant? And he's Bit like, I think so. Have you ever used Google to uh, Google gross penis? Because if you have, I think you would see that many people are not following the rules that Independent Joe has contracted <laughs> Wait, up. That's a, did you ever Google that? No, never. What, what does it look like? An alien picks you up because they choose you. And how do they choose you? Um, by either how smart you are, how dumb you are, the color of your hair, the color of you not having any hair, and if you have a butt. Which that means everybody except for Kim Jong Un <laughs> is in that category. He doesn't poo or pee. He doesn't poo or pee, no. <laughs> he uses all he uses all up. His he's, body is so perfect that he's operating at peak efficiency. There you go. There's no waste. That is A. That's an alien. Well, how about you shut your mouth before I call an alien over here? Well, independent contract them. Did you hear that um, Joe Exotic is getting out earlier? I did not hear that. Even though he independent contract that one chick to be murdered? Well, he should be let go early. He's a national treasure. But I'm independent contractor. Look, it's all, it's all wobbly, but now look at it. David. All right. Here's a trick. Boop. It disappeared. It disappeared. It's in your hands. It disappeared. It's literally. <laughs> you gave me a pen that fell apart the minute I tried oh, to use it. Joke's on you. I said, take it seriously. Joe is getting probed by Alien. You give me a joke pen. Prior to these bad, bad aliens taking me, I don't think he means um, immigrants. Oh, okay. I think he means from space. Ah, uh, space alien. Otherwise, that would be terribly appropriate. <laughs> Prior to these bad, bad hombres taking me, I had typed this up, created a box with perfect.